Hello, welcome back friends. <clears throat> In this video, uh, we're going to see about equivalent fraction. Uh, we're going to see how to write equivalent fractions without drawing circles or uh, figures, or diagrams. Now, yeah, I have made uh, three questions, yeah? So, this question is one half is how many quarters? So, I look at two and four, okay? and I know that uh, two, I think, I, I think like this, two times what gives me four? So, I know two times two is four. So, you do the same thing to the top number. This is the denominator. That's the mathematical name of the bottom number, and this is the numerator. So, whatever you do on the, uh, to the, denominator or the bottom number you do the same thing to the top number so I from the last video also you can understand uh, I did the same thing I showed you how uh, let me go back and show you so I showed you that two quarters or one half this is one half is two quarters okay now we're going to do that mathematically so here I should write two quarters so one half or you can understand two quarter pi is same as a half pi. Okay. Now let me use a different color. Okay, so let me use the orange. Okay. Okay. Now the next question is this is some number over six. Okay, so you can think about one half is how many sixes. So the same logic here. So let me delete this. So the same logic here. So two goes in six how many times? So two, I know two times three is six. So you do the same thing to the top number. So you have to multiply this the top number with three. That's the numerator with three. So that is three sixths. Okay. Okay, let me delete, uh, erase this. Okay, let me use a different color. I'm oh, sorry, I should use a pen. Uh, let's use a bright color, brown. Okay, now the same question, one half is pi over what? Okay, so the, you want to figure out the bottom number, that is the denominator, so you have to look at the top numbers. So one, times what gives you phi. So that's pretty easy. So 1 times phi gives me phi. So whatever you do to the top number, you do to the bottom number. So 2, you have to do the same thing to the bottom number. So 2 times phi, 2 times phi is equal to, that should be pretty easy, that is 5 tenths. Okay, so let me again delete this, erase this. Okay, now the last part is, okay, let me use a thicker color now. Now here, you have to figure out the numerator. Again, the same logic, 2 times what is 18, okay? So that should be pretty easy for you. You should be knowing that 2 times 9 is 18. So you do the same thing to the top number. That is 1 times 9 should give you nine. So let us look at all the examples together. So yeah, what have we done? So we can say one half is e equivalent to two quarters. Two quarters is same as three sixths or one half is same as three sixths equivalent. Equal. Uh, so one half is same equivalent to five tenths and one half is same as nine eighteenths. Okay. So let me use a different color again. Yeah. The same principle brown. Okay. So let me make it thinner. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. I'm running cold here. So one half. Now, one-third is 2 over what? So, same principle. 
So, you are looking at the top number. So, 1 times what gives you 2. So, you know 1 times 2 gives you 2. So, you have to do the same thing to the bottom number that is 2 times the same number that is sorry 3 times the same number that is 2. That is 3 times 2 is 6. So, 1 third is same as 2 is 6. Okay. So, let me erase this. My 6 looks like a B. Okay. Let me write it properly. So, this is 2 6. Let me make it bigger. Okay. So, I'm not going to. Uh, so, same principle here. One third is 4 out of what? So, the same principle, 1 goes or 1 times what gives you 4. So, that is 1 times 4 is 4. So, you do the same thing to the bottom number. So, 3 times 4 is 12. Okay. Or if you look from year to year, 2 times what is 4. So, 2 times, you can also do like this. 2 times 2 is 4. So, you do the same thing to the bottom number. So, it is 6 times 2 is 12. So, we can say that one half, one third is same as two sixths and two sixths is same as four twelfths. Okay. Now, let us go continue. Mm, let us use red now. Okay. Now, uh, oh, I have repeated this. So, this is pretty easy. Four twelfths is same as four twelfths. Okay. Now, let me use black now or green same. So, 4 times what is 5, okay, that will be pretty difficult, or 4 times what is 5, that's difficult. So, you, 2 doesn't go in 5, so you know 1 times what is 5, so you have to look from year to year, okay. So, 1 times 5 is 5, so the same thing you do to the bottom number, so 3 times 5 is 15. So, one third is same as 5 fifteenths. Okay. Now, the last in this part. Let me use blue now. So, you can look from here. So, 1, you have to look at the bottom number 3. You look at 3 and 18. So, 3 goes in 18 how many times? Or so 3 times what is 18? So, you should be knowing that 3 times 6 is 18. So, you do the same thing to the top number. So, that is 1 times 6 is 6. Or you could have also gone from year to year. Okay. That is 6 times what is 18. So, I know 6 times 3 is 18 and 2 times 3 is 6. Okay. Now, the last question. 1 sixth. It should be pretty easy now. 1 sixth is how many 12? So, 6 goes... 6 times 2 is 12, so 1 times 2 is 2, so you have to write a 2 here. So, 1 6 is same as 2 12. Now, for year, you it's 2 times, if you're pretty smart, you know 2 times half is 3. Okay, that will be difficult for some of you, but it's better to go from year to year. So, uh, so, 3, 1 times what is 3? So, 1 times 3 is 3. So, 6 times 3 is 18. Now, for those who are smart, I will show you a smarter way. Okay, you can also go from, so 3 times, 2 times what is 3? So, 2 times half, or sorry, 1 and a half, 2 times 1.5 gives you 3. Okay, so how will you get from 2, if you want to do 2 times 1.5 is same as 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 times half is 1. So, that is 2 times 1 and a half is 3. So, you do the same thing to the bottom number. So, 6 times 1.5. This may be difficult for some of you, but some of you will enjoy this. How will you do 12 times 1.5? You can go 12 times, you can do like this, 12 times 1 is 12 and 12 times half that is 0.5 that means you're asking the question what is half of 12 
is equal to 6. So 12 times 1.5 is 12 plus 6 is 18. Okay, so that's a pretty smart way of doing it. Okay, now let us look at the this question. Uh, so one, so from here I want to go. So six times what is 24? So six times four is 24. So you do this, do the same thing to the top number. So one times four is four. So one six is same as four out of 24. Now this is. Now, this is same, uh, or this is equal 15 um, over what? So you can go from here. One times 15 is 15. Okay. So six times 15 is okay. Six times 15. Okay. I don't know six times 15. So how can I do it? So six times 15. I go six times 10 is 60, and six times five is 30. So 60 plus 30 is 90. So 6 times 15 is 90. My writing is really poor. I'm very sorry about it. Or you can go from year to year. 3 times what is 15? So 3 times 5 is 15. And 18 times 5? 18 times 5 is same thing. I don't know 18 times 5. I can do this is same as uh, if I double this. Okay, I'm going to double this, I have to half this, so that is 9 times 10. Okay, so what I've done is doubling and halving. I have halved uh, 18, which gives you 9, and double this. So 8 times 4, 18 times 4 is same as 9 times 10. So that way also you can get it. Thank you very much. I'll continue in the next video.